you know, stereotactic body radiation in, in general has very, very good outcomes for stage one non-small cell lung cancer, you know, because we're, we're able to deliver ablative dose to these small lesions very, very effectively. Um, you know, I think the, the local recurrence rate in general is about five to 7%. Um, you know, I think one of the questions that we're very interested in is, is kind of teasing out, you know, while this works incredibly well in general, right, there are still some patients that have recurrences and are, are there things that separate those patients from the patients that do very, very well. Um, so you know, historically we've, we've looked at our own data set, right? People have looked, you know, in, in multiple institutions have looked at their data sets and kind of increasing tumor size seems to be correlated with increasing risk of recurrence, you know, kind of not surprisingly, um, you know, the metabolic activity of the tumor on the PET scan also seems to be correlated with increasing risk of recurrence. Um, you know, about four or five years ago when we had looked at our data set at that time was the first time that we saw a difference um, between the two primary tumor types. Um, so, you know, most non-small cell lung cancers are either adenocarcinoma or squamous cell. Um, and it's interesting across most oncologic areas, right, squamous cells tend to be more radiosensitive. Um, in the lung, that seems to be the reverse, right? So, so in many of the lung trials, squamous cell have, have poor outcomes compared to adenocarcinoma. Um, so we, we found that the local recurrence rate um, across our data set was also tied to, you know, not only tumor size and, and PET SUV, but also um, histology. So squamous cell had a much higher risk of local failure. Um, typically, it's been kind of accepted that this biologic equivalent dose of 100 gray um, is enough for SBRT. Um, you know, so the, the different regimens that we use, um, the single fraction regimen has a biologic equivalent dose of about 145 to 150. The three fraction has a biologic equivalent dose of 150 versus the four or five fraction regimens are 100 to 105. Um, so all three of our treatment regimens are above that kind of recommended threshold of 100. Um, but what we found mainly in, you know, when we look at this retrospectively in bigger data sets um, is that you know, the squamous cell carcinomas do have a higher risk of local failure. Um, but when you split into the different fractionation groups, right, we really saw that accentuated in the four to five fraction group, which just barely reaches the dose threshold um, versus the single fraction group and the three fraction group had incredibly similar control profiles you know, when you were giving when you were treating an adenocarcinoma or a squamous cell carcinoma. Um, so it looks like when you have a resistant tumor, you know, with, you know, again, while we generally do very well with SBRT, um, we think about using the more aggressive dose regimens um, for patients that have larger tumors, squamous cell carcinoma and, and bright tumors. Um, so, you know, that, that's, you know, in, historically we'd only thought of the three fraction as being the more aggressive regimen. Um, you know, not a lot of places have long-term data on single fraction, but I think that's what's unique about our data set is that it looks like that single fraction approach, you know, also overcomes some of those negative effects of histology for control.